Watch out, scammers are everywhere. I am about to give you the new and improved formula for winning when a buyer returns an item that you never sold him. This is new stuff. This is the way not to be out the money from a false return. Be careful. As I said, scammers are everywhere. Even I, I used to think chiropractors were a scam, but now I stand corrected. So there's that. Actually, for a good time, I like reading beginning eBay reselling groups on Facebook. The posts are just hilarious. They're all so funny. A common post on these newcomers to eBay groups, how to sell on eBay, is, do you think I'm being scammed? New sellers are just constantly in fear of being scammed. Don't sell anything if you're worried about that. The majority of buyers are honest. The majority of buyers just want to get something at a price they can afford. But you would think nine out of 10 buyers are scammers if you read these beginning groups. It'll be like someone just purchased my Boyd's bear figure for $16.92 and he's got zero feedbacks. The question is always, do you think this is a scam? Everyone starts at zero feedbacks. If anything, when you have a zero feedback buyer, go out of your way to make this the best experience possible. Ship it immediately. Put a nice handwritten note. Wrap it in a nice box. Use nice paper for dunnage. The first experience on eBay for this buyer. Make this an incredible experience. We want lots of new buyers to come to eBay. We want buyers to have a great experience, so they stay. Save your best experience, your best boxes. I'm not opposed to you reusing boxes ever, as long as they're clean and sturdy. But for a brand new buyer, go out of your way to make it really a nice experience. Or someone wants to return an item to these people and they say, do you think this is a scam? I don't accept returns. Well, you better accept returns. If you don't and you sell something that's not described right or it's broken, you're going to get that return whether you want it or not. eBay forces you to have a return. You should always accept returns. The fact someone wants to return something does not make the buyer a scammer, but sometimes buyers return items and it is a scam. I'm going to show you exactly what to do. New material, you're going to be amazed. And by the way, everyone always says, oh, click the like button, subscribe to my channel and all of that. But let me give you a reason to do so. I mean, not only do you not want to miss out on my handsome, rugged features, but also whenever you subscribe to a YouTube channel and or click like on any video that helps you tell YouTube that you like this type of content. YouTube will start serving other types of content up. So you're going to get other how to improve your sales on eBay videos. And that should help you. That should be a good thing. So I would appreciate it if you would click like on this video and subscribe to my channel. I give you a lot of information you don't find elsewhere. That's the whole idea of the ultra advanced on eBay channel. I've had people follow me for years in another group that used to be subscription paid only. They will attest. You get tips and tricks here that you just won't get from anyone else. But this is a biggie. Don't ever be scammed again with a false return claim. Here's what happens. You sell something, the buyer says, this is broken, it's not right, it's the wrong thing. Whatever it opens a return request, it comes back to you. You open the box and it's a rock or it's empty or it's someone else's item that obviously wasn't the one you sold. It's an electronic item that doesn't have the serial number of the one that you sold. And by the way, anytime that you take pictures, you reduce the likelihood that someone will scam you on that electronic item. If you show a picture of the plate, there's almost always a plate on the bottom of a stereo, the little metal plate that shows, or an appliance that shows the serial number of that appliance. So make sure that you always include a picture of that in the images. Scammers don't like that because eBay has a little bit of evidence of what you shipped. It doesn't prove the seller shipped that item with that serial number, but it's just a little bit of extra evidence that the scammer has to fight whenever the seller starts fighting this return fraud. But it still will happen. You'll still get returns of items you didn't sell or empty boxes or whatever. There is finally a good solution to this, and here it is. You contact eBay customer support. I've shown you how to do so right right there in that video on this channel. Now eBay has a new security channel for buyers and sellers and this is it. It's okay for just normal issues you have with a buyer 
or seller. You can report a concern and it kind of takes you to the places you need to go. But if you get a return fraud, if you get something back that you didn't sell or an empty box, anything like that, contact customer support and let them know what happened. They are still inclined to say, well, it's your word against the buyer. You would think that eBay would give long-term sellers, if you are one, the benefit of the doubt, at least start the process of maybe the seller's telling the truth. And eBay is better at trusting sellers than any other platform I've ever sold on, which is a lot of platforms I've sold on. eBay's far better at respecting the seller. But whenever this issue comes up, eBay does have an attitude of, we have to wait and see. We don't really know if the seller is being totally truthful, or maybe the seller just made a mistake, shipped the wrong item, shipped an item that had a flaw that was that he or she didn't tell in the listing, something like that. But we're talking true fraud. Someone returned something that you didn't sell them. Contact customer support and let them know. If you have any evidence, you can say, here is a picture. I don't even know if Customer service accepts pictures, but you can say, here's a picture of the serial number that they returned, and you can see from the listing that there's a serial number. It's a different serial number. Make sure that first you've contacted your buyer. Before you contact eBay, send the buyer an eBay message because your customer support rep will read all messages between you and your buyer. And say something polite, business-like, and say, We received an item. We know that you had a problem. We received your returned box today, opened it, and this is not the item we shipped. This has serial number XYZ, and we sent you serial number ABC. Or this is a rock. We didn't sell you a rock. Or whatever it is. This is an old dress with tears and stains, and ours did not have these tears and stains. You must have confused us with another seller. Let us know what you would like to do. Now, a scammer usually will not answer questions that you send, that initial message. And that's good. That works in your favor. The scammer might give you all sorts of and threaten you to leave you negative feedback if you don't give them their money back. That works in your favor because that's called feedback extortion. And eBay will immediately side on your favor if a buyer does that. But give the buyer 24 hours to respond Usually they won't on a scam. When you contact customer support, they will read that message you sent. They'll see you never got a reply or you did get a reply. And then they'll say, well, it's sort of your word against theirs. What are you looking for here? And here is what you want. You want eBay to send you a legal affidavit to sign stating that you were scammed, that you received an item you did not sell. And eBay now does this. I don't have a picture of eBay's actual seller fraud affidavit. I've had tens of thousands of sales over the years. And I've never had a return fraud ever, which means probably tomorrow I will have one. I've never had one, but it will happen, I'm sure, to me, and I will immediately request an affidavit whenever I contact that customer service rep eBay will do this now. They will send you a legal affidavit that you fill out. And this has some power in court, if eBay ever has to get that far. And you're stating, under penalty of perjury, you're stating that you received an item you did not send. Once you sign that affidavit, usually eBay will side with you and will close the case In your favor, for some reason, eBay will often refund the buyer out of their own money. It's too bad they do that. They're encouraging this. But supposedly eBay is getting stricter with buyers over time. We'll see. Remember I said contact customer service, but before you do so, send your buyer a message, business-like explaining what happened and say, what would you like us to do? Also, before you contact the eBay customer support rep, you should do the following you should go to your local police website. Your city, your county, whatever you're, you know, if you live in a big town, they'll have their own police force. If you live in a small town, you may have to go to the county. And I want you to submit an online criminal report. Be very careful that this was definitely not the item you shipped. Be careful that you definitely are accusing someone of fraud for good reason. File a report. Almost all municipalities now let you file online police reports whenever you've had a crime against you. And this is a crime. You've been stolen from. This is fraud and theft. Now, what can you expect from this report? Absolutely nothing. 
Nothing will be done, nothing whatsoever, except you'll get a copy of the report that you can download. And the customer service rep really has to think twice if you say, I have already submitted a criminal report of my local municipality on this item, and I would like to upload that report to you to show that I have filed a complaint with my local police force. That and I want to sign an eBay affidavit. That first complaint shows even more power in your favor that you're being truthful. I would go so far as to do the following. I have done one criminal report online that had nothing to do with eBay. Very easy to fill out and nothing happened, of course. If you're in a traffic accident and you do a report online about the accident, it's just a report to give your insurance company. They'll do nothing. But there's one more thing you should do, I believe, and that is go to the United States Postal Inspector website at USPIS.gov and file a mail fraud report. This is serious. These people take their mail seriously. They don't take deliveries on time all that seriously. They don't take speedy customer service at the counter all that seriously, but they take mail fraud pretty seriously. And if you can also show the eBay customer support rep that you have filed with the postal inspector, a mail fraud report because this was fraud. There's no way eBay is going to side against you. There's just no way. You would be an idiot to have done a police report and a mail fraud with the postal inspector report on this item. So you do those two things before you contact eBay support and say, I would like to fill out one of your affidavits stating I was a victim, and I don't like to use the word victim routinely. It's an overused term, but you truly, legally were a victim of fraud in this case. And whenever you tell that eBay rep, don't be upset, don't be angry, use friendly business-like tones when speaking to the customer rep. You can say, as you can see, I've contacted the buyer, the buyer didn't respond, or the buyer responded with curse words and threats. And I filed a police report, and I can upload a copy of the police report to you on this fraud attempt. And I have also gone as far as to file with the United States Postal Inspector a mail fraud report, and I can upload you a copy of that report because usually you can download these as a PDF file. And all I ask of eBay is please let me sign one of your affidavits stating that as a seller, I had attempted fraud committed against me by a buyer who returned an item I did not sell him, or returned an empty box, or returned a rock, returned a wrong, broken item, and kept the good one that I sold him. I have all of this evidence, and all I want to do is sign an affidavit with eBay stating, this is what happened, and I would like for you to close this case in my favor. The odds of eBay siding with you are unbelievably high. And in the past, even for good sellers, even eBay that treats their sellers with more respect than any other selling platform on earth, especially Amazon, even eBay had a hard time siding with good sellers in this situation. They really didn't have any good way to handle it. Even though a, a good business would say, well, there's this zero feedback buyer and this 10,000 feedback seller, and they're disagreeing with each other. Maybe I should look into this and consider what the seller's telling me here eBay did not always totally do that in the past. This affidavit process that eBay has implemented is a good way for eBay to say, we have to trust this seller. This seller, she just signed a legal affidavit stating that this is what happened. We can see evidence of it. And this seller, she filled out a mail fraud report and she filled out a local police criminal report against this buyer. Yeah, this probably is no doubt real. And they should side with you. This is a tremendous step forward. A lot of work for you. Not really. I mean, the online police criminal report, it's nothing. It's really pretty fast. I've never filled out a mail fraud report. It's probably the same type of thing. Who did what? When did it happen? What are the addresses? Give me a one paragraph description. If you have a picture or two, send it. That's probably all that is. And you'll get a follow-up report of if filed and you'll have that for eBay's customer service rep. This is the way to not be scammed by a scammer. These are great tools. Bookmark the sites I've shown you. 
to not be stolen from as a seller. You can feel a lot more comfortable as a seller going forth knowing this. This is great news. So go out there and list more because you only make money on eBay when you list and you only make more money on eBay when you list more. So list more. And I hope you can retire on eBay a year from now as a millionaire.